quite a lot of on holidays kind of thing. You know, it was just a just a prototype of something was missing out and we didn't you know they shit, I think they sold like five hundred thousand copies or something like that. Last time I heard. So, you know. And he was just like, okay, you know, just play with something, get it done. Um, laugh at perfection, kitsch. It's boring, keeps you from being done. You know, perfection is impossible. I tell my girlfriend all the time, she still doesn't like <laughs> um, So she's, you know, up until 3, 4 a.m. working on assignments, whereas um, you know, I'm happy to go, okay, you know, this, this, is, this, is, this is almost, you know, there's a, this is something we're using up, it's called the 80 20 rule. Um, you can get 80% of the way with 20% of the work. The other 20% of the way is going to take 80% of the work. So, you know, getting to that point, you know, good enough. <coughs> if you, you know, obviously if you're shipping to a customer, you know, releasing, then you need to put in that 80% of work. But, you know, if you're, if you're just, you know, try testing out, you're going to post something for or whatever, show your friends, don't worry about perfection, just get it done, damn it. Um, people without dirty hands are wrong. Doing something makes you right, okay? Now you talk about things on a forum or you know to your friends all you like, you know, getting in there and actually doing something. You know, <coughs> even if you even if it's complete utter shit, you know, it's still good. You know, still getting your hands dirty and still learning. Um oh, I jumped ahead and that's the failures. Failures counts as done, search of mistakes or anything like that. Stru uh, destruction is very to done, so you know, I'll eat it. Oh uh, shit, that doesn't work, I'll leave it. Um, if you have an idea and publish it on the internet, it counts as the ghost is done. I, I, I'm okay with this one, but you know, I don't generally share my ideas um, until I've you know, at least you know, scribbled the drawing or whatever. So, you know, I, I tend to show my friends that sort of thing. Um, and done is the engine of more. You know, you can get more done by completing things. So, you know, don't set yourself impossible goals. Alright, questions? Yo. Um, kind of taking that philosophy and applying it to something that possibly a lot of people in the room are trying to get into now is, is getting a job in the industry or considering um, making their own indie studio, one of the two. Um, the philosophy of getting things done is an important one, but the, the philosophy of polish and refinement is another important factor, um, I, at least I believe in the industry, because it's that that kind of defines and, and will either get you that job or make you that great game. Um, so it, 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 it almost sounds like the, the philosophy of getting things done is almost counteractive to the philosophy of, Abs, well, of, pol of polish. I, I, well, getting a job in the industry, um, get the, try as many things as possible. Like, I, I, I do a lot of interviews with, with people um, straight out of uni or, you know, you know, that sort of thing. And the first thing I ask is, you know, do you have demos? Do you have, you know, and I, I'm not expecting something that, you know, I'm not expecting Halo, I'm not expecting, you know, um, I'm not expecting World of Goo, I'm expecting, you know, uh, uh, the experimental gameplay project, um, you know, those sort of things, you know, they, they don't work some of the time, you know, they don't make sense, they don't, you know, but, you know, they, they're getting things out there and getting them done. Working on your own project, um, as I said, you know, obviously this isn't going to bring you the polish and the, and the, uh, and the shippable product on a large scale, but getting little bits and pieces done is very important. And you can just size that down to, okay, got the whole game, okay, uh, that piece of artwork or whatever. Because you can always go back and, you know, I, you know, I have this argument with my, my art team all the time, is, you know, you can always go back and improve things. You can always sit there needling, needling the, uh, the graphics around and going, oh, you know, perfecting the lighting kind of thing. But you know, getting getting it ready and then moving on to the next thing means you've got time to go back and go, okay, what what's the what's the thing that I you know need to work on the most? So that's that's the philosophy. There. So uh, okay. any more questions on that? No? Okay. Um, 
put things down on paper, put things, um, this guy here, I can't remember his name. Um, and he's got pen and paper and little um, tokens, and he's testing a DS game on paper with calculator and you know. So you don't need to put uh, any code down to test an idea. Okay. So obviously he's doing some sort of strategy game to, in this in this format. You know, very easy. But <coughs> you can't test all your ideas like that. But you can you can certainly test some of them like that. So. Uh, yeah, and you know, just writing things down, um, trying ideas. You know, it, it's really important to to you know, get things down and get things out on paper, and writing pro pro prototyping, which is something that uh, I really enjoy. Uh, I produce a lot of stuff that I never really you know show anybody, but you know, it gets my ideas down, and you know, I can just. Know, press play and off it goes and does its thing. So, you know, that's that's testing out ideas. You know? So, alright. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, just wondering in terms of writing code. Yeah. Uh, are you talking about code? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I, I personally use Python. Um, in Python. Like, well, not, not like code specific, but what are the what are the guidelines for um, for effective writing code? How would you know if you're getting the best time to practice? The idea is to get as little time as possible. So yeah, I guess how it's... How do you know if you're, if you're doing it right? Um, there's, um, there's something um, called um, your, uh, minimum viable product. Um, this, is, this is a broad business kind of thing, um, especially in uh, building web startups and stuff like that. Um, your minimum viable product is always about you know, a tenth of what you actually think it is. You, know, you think you have to have all these features just keep brutally cutting, brutally cutting, and then you brutally, brutally cut some more. So you've got, you know, distill it down to the tiniest little idea that you can possibly um, come up with. Um, EA released a whole bunch of um, prototypes for Spore um, that they did, um, and I messed around with a couple of them. And you know, there were just little bits and pieces on, you know, how do we, how do we do this? Um, one of them was, you know, developing a galaxy, and they, they were using, um, they were testing some, testing just testing an algorithm to develop a convincing looking galaxy. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what, uh, kind of, you know, but it's something that um, you learn, you know, by doing, you're learning. So, uh, you know, you, you're going to know, once you start doing this, you're going to start knowing, um, okay, you know, I come up with an idea, I know how long that's going to take, not, you know, oh, I've got an idea, I've got an idea, can we you do it, and then you do it once, and you go, okay, well, that was, that was a huge failure. I, you know, spent two weeks on you know, making you jump, for example. You know, so uh, it's just practice and learning, I guess. I, I think it's not quite any more kind of it's a good indication that you've got to a point where it's either you drop it or you yeah, just start again. Yeah. So, yeah. If you've lost interest, then move on. Try something new. Uh, I'm just wondering, you say you do something to move on, do you actually keep all your old ideas? Absolutely. Um, you know, um, you need to learn from them, you need to look back on them and go, well, you know. Um, I've got a friend who, you know, she, she's an artist, and she, you know, she's a pretty, pretty decent artist, and you know, every every year she draws, redraws the same character. I think this is a little, um, what a lot of artists do, is they redraw the same character, and then they have, you know, this timeline. And she recently posted hers from 2000, I think it was 2000 until now, and you know, I could have done what you did in 2000. So, and you know, I don't put pen to paper in that manner at all. So, you know, and now she's you know fabulous, and she works for a, um, a design studio. And you know, so it's just putting pen to paper, you know, getting code on in the compiler, I guess. Uh, oh, I'm already there. Uh, okay, so that's that's kind of you know ideas. And this is a uh, planning. So um, this one's kind of short because um, everyone has their own methods of deciding how they're going to do things. But I find that you know this something <coughs> seems to appear throughout any sort of literature on getting things done. Um, yeah, first off, and really obvious one: start with the end in mind. Have a goal. You know, don't sit down and go, "I'm going to make a game and 
start being code 